Hey, this is Mitchell. Just going to show you how to uh, how to set up the audio metering widget, utility widget. Uh, I put on the Unreal Engine community site uh, to meter some, some audio in your game. So here I have the Lyra project open just because it's already got sounds in it. It's got some mixes and everything that I can just use to test. So, But this should work in any, any project. Um, yeah, you have a, a sub mix set up for you know that you want to uh, analyze. Um, one caveat with this is uh, it relies the the widget it uses the audio meter widget it uses relies on MetaSounds. So make sure you have MetaSounds plugin enabled in order to use this uh, widget. So the first thing you want to do is create an empty uh, editor utility widget. So just find any place that you want to put that widget. I made a little folder for one. Right click. Go up to Editor Utilities, Editor Utility Widget here. Uh, name it whatever you want. Audio Metering Widget. Okay, it's going to be empty, of course. This is going to be in there. That's where you go to the community site. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the uh, description of the video. Um, there's a few snippets that you would just copy and paste over, and it should just start working for you. So, uh, first things first. Number one here is the designer side of the widget for uh, the meters. So we'll just copy this, come back over here. We're going to right click over here on the canvas panel and paste. And there we go. We have the two the, the meters we want. Uh, one's a spectral analysis, and then the other one's going to be for your uh, different channel volumes, depending on what your audio interface uses. And then just to tidy things up a little bit up in the top right on this fill screen here, just go down to desired, and then we can just make it as big as, as needed here. All right, so we set up the designer side, uh, pretty simple. Up top right, go to graph, um, then you need the graph side. Get rid of these uh, these events right here, you don't really need them. And then come back over to the snippets and go to number two and number three, which are a couple functions that the um, the blueprint will use. So here's one, get current world. We'll just copy that, come back over here, and in the functions section, uh, paste the function. This is just getting the, the current world you're in, whether it's the playing it in the editor or if you're in the uh, editor itself just so it can it can audition and and analyze sounds to, no matter what you're doing in the editor um, pretty straightforward there and then um, the number three here is the update meters function this is what takes in the inf the channel information and feeds the respective uh, meters so we'll copy that come back over here to functions and paste that in there and then you have the two functions that the, the blueprint needs. And then last but not least is just the graph uh, logic. So right at the last one, number four, copy that snippet, come back over here, um, and then in the graph itself, control V, and then you'll paste that in. Uh, just one more thing here, uh, there's just a couple of variables that it uses aren't that aren't created. So for say like the current world here, we can just right click it and create variable. Same with this submix variable here. We'll create a variable for that submix. And that's it. That's the widget. The uh, widget's ready to go. Um, in order to uh, start using the widget, just right click the asset in the content browser, run editor utility widget like that, uh, and then it'll pop up here. Um, so you can dock this wherever you want in, in the editor um, for ease. Um, and the only thing you have to do now is select which submix you want to analyze. This one's got a few, and I'll just select the, the main submix here. And then we can test it. Just play in the editor and see what happens. So you see the um, spectral analysis skit is going, the, the audio metering for the different channels is going. And uh, it's working as intended. And then not only are they playing an editor, but if you're navigating the editor itself for, you know, auditioning audio assets, uh, like a MetaSound. Um, we can open up the music system here, hit play, and now we're analyzing uh, the sound playing through the editor. So you get your, your spectral analysis and the channel information for the asset that you're, you're auditioning. And that's uh, pretty much it. Um, like I said, I'll leave the link to the uh, that the snippet page there uh, in the the comment or in in the description of the video and um, yeah hopefully this is of some use to you and uh, hope you enjoy it thanks.